morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Y'all pull up, y'all pull up. I'm not going to be able to sit here in front of the computer with my glasses on because I likes to tilt my head down. And when I tilt my head down, I can't see a thing because I'd be too close to the screen. But anyway, today we are going to be talking about, if I get myself together, got to get the people, yeah. Today, we are going to be talking about Please stop looking for ICT setups. Err, well. Please stop. Man, my man. I'm... Oh. I'm tripping. Like, when I put my... I saw my band. I'm sorry, y'all. Y'all know how I do. I'm put this up here like this. If y'all, uh, my fancy dancing not on, my computer must have restarted. Y'all hold on for a second. I'm going to get to what I got to say, but I done got distracted. I done got distracted. Y'all know when I get distract distracted, I got to, you know, true true blue gang gang. Y'all already know what the lit read. Y'all know Tim going to get distracted. Tim going to start doing stuff he ain't supposed to be doing. Oh, gang, gang, if y'all want to, if y'all want to say something, I'm going to get in the chat. Hines, what you doing in the voice? What are you doing in the voice, Hines? What are you doing in the voice? <laughs> I be kicking people out of the voice all the time. People just be hanging in the voice, hoping I pop up. <laughs> I'm in the voice, so if you true blue gang gang, especially if you a mentee, expect if you a mentee, I'm in the voice. If you got a question, if you want to ask something, you know what I'm saying. Take advantage of times like this when I just pop up and feel like talking, so you can unmute and you can ask me something in the Discordia. Right, I'm in the voice. So. I put this over here because you see my ticker down here at the bottom. You see the speed that is going. Well, I had I had this um this box up, and the ticker was flunt. Like, look, watch, watch right, right, wherever it is on your screen, the little banner. Watch how fast it started going when I put this over here like this. You see how fast it's going now? Did you see how fast it was going? It was like flying. See that? It's like flying. Look how quick it's going. Right there. Look right there. I'm like, man, why my banner going so fast? But it's because the box is in front of it. It's trying to it, it know that it's only a little piece of screen there and it's flying. Look at that. That caught me off guard. Anyway, squirrel. <laughs> squirrel. <laughs> It's all good. It's all good, Hines. I be, I just be kicking people out because they be in it just they just be in there for nothing. Like, I don't know if they, they go to sleep while I be talking or if they just leave it in there. So if I start talking, they be like, oh, Tim talking. Let me listen. But anyway, stop looking for ICT setups everywhere. And this is being sponsored by some of our mentees this is being sponsored by some comments i saw on on the twitty twit twit app you know and it's basically because okay today today is friday man you know what this is an old background and it's got a d up there this was before I started paying for data on trade. And I'm I saw that D and I'm like, whoa, why my why my data delayed? Squirrel. Okay. Um, 
people always try to look for every setup, everywhere, every second. Like, if you a mentee and I done told you don't overthink it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, put a one in the chat. If you even if you're not a mentee and I done told you don't overthink it, put a one in the chat. Let me know that you feeling me, right? Because Pete, what is this? What is this down here? Oh, that's the Discord. It was just hanging on the other screen. It was just hanging on the other screen. Okay. All right. So people be, <laughs> they go the ones. <laughs> people be looking for everything everywhere. And what really sparked it is because today, today is a day where you can actually look for a TJIF setup. But people every Friday, if somebody don't ask me, I see on Al Gore's internet, someone in a chat on, because I be watching live streamers, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, like Tanya Trades, I be looking at her live stream because she got a nice coming voice while she's talking about her entries. And, you know, it, it just, it just soothes me while I'm watching the charts and just listening to her. You know what I'm saying? I oopsed up on her channel and then come to find out she good friends with Kit. And I know, I ain't going to say me and Kit good friends, but, you know, I know Kit from Twitter. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? He a, he a, he a good dude as far as supporting the community. And then they good friends, as far as I know, for real. Let both of them tell it. But, you know what I'm saying? Small world. Anyway, people always asking, uh, I'm looking for TJIF. And I be, I'm sitting there looking at the comment like, you don't know what you're talking about. Right? You don't know what you're talking about. This right here, this week, let me show you my chart. One day, candles. Get out of the way, lines. Right. Hold on. Let me go. Let me go down so I can hide everything. Get all this stuff out of the way. Move all this stuff out of the way. Okay. One day candles. Right. Before I say what I gotta say. Does anybody know, does anybody in the gang gang know the criteria? Well, first of all, does anybody know what the TGIF setup is? If you in the gang gang and you know what the TGIF setup is, I want you to log in, get on the Discordia unmute and explain to me what the TGI F setup is. Don't be scared. If you know what it is, if you know what it is, put a one in the chat. If you know what T the TGI F setup is, put a one in the chat. While I sip some water. Let me see if anybody uh, say something. Let me shout out everybody who come here while I'm waiting on these ones. What's up, Randa? Rhonda, I really appreciate you. I ain't gonna hold you. What's Hola Valentin? FC, what's happening? I ain't seen you in a month of Sundays. What's up, Thomas? Michelle Tucker. What's up, Michelle? Deborah. Deborah, even. What's up, Hines? What's up, Hydro Cousin? You mean tell me don't nobody know what TGIF is? Valentine say I'm always overthink. What's up, Sanjay? What's going on? I appreciate that. Good morning, E Rock. 
Do you know what a TGIF setup is? Everybody scared. Everybody scared to put one in the chat because they think I'm gonna call them out and tell them to pull up in the voice and uh, and unmute. Do you know? Does anybody know what TGIF is? Do anybody know what TGIF is? There you go, E Rock. Trading all week, then Friday close. Trading all week, then Friday close at 20 to 30%. Friday close at 20 to 30%. So, like E Rock said, right? Tra only thing she left out is in one direction. Trading in one direction all week. Then Friday close at 20 or 30 percent. Right. The setup itself tells you when you should be looking for it. The setup itself tells you when you should be looking for it. Right. So let's look at this week. This week, this is Monday. Monday. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, right? Uh, let me just get a box. Oh, my goodness. Where'd my box go? Okay. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. You know what you notice about this? We were trading in one direction. Hey, 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 E-Rock, E-Rock, get off my screen. We were trading in one direction all week. So this, today, you could be looking for a TG, TG, TGIF setup. Right, you could be you could be today. You could realistically be looking for a TGIF setup. Now, it doesn't mean that it's gonna happen, just like it doesn't mean that any of the ICT concepts are gonna happen. It's just times when they're more likely to happen. So on this is this week, right? So let's look at last week. Let's see. Monday. Oh, get a box. M Monday. Tuesday. Wednesday. Thursday. Let's change this color to blue. Azul. 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 Why would you be looking? Why on Friday? On this week right here, let's do this. Get this out of the way. Get out of the way. Right? Why on Friday of this week did I see people in comment sections saying, hey, what do you think about a TGIF setup? What in the foolery? That's what... That's that that that's how that's how Christians uh be using um text cuss stuff. Why you put why you put WTF on there? I thought you was a Christian. That means what the foolery. <laughs> but in all seriousness, tra um trending in one direct. I said trading before. I'm sorry. Trending in one direction all week and Friday close at 20 to 30 percent. Right? Trending in one direction all week and Friday um close at um 20 to 30 percent, meaning you just going up all week or you going down all week. And then when you get to Friday, you're anticipating looking for a setup that's going to close 
between 20 and 30 percent off the high or off the low. So you shouldn't be looking for a TGIF on a week that looks like this. Right? You shouldn't be. You shouldn't be looking for it. You should only be looking for it. Right? On a week that looks like this. That's when you should be looking. Do that mean you're going to get it? No. Okay. Tim, help me out a little bit. Now. We've already stated that the market is trending in one direction all week, and we're looking for a retracement. Come on, Tim, of 20 to 30 percent by the close. Okay. Now, how do you trade it? Just like any other ICT concept, now that the criteria are there to start looking for it, now you use the clues in price section to look for your setup. Okay, let's go in here and put price levels on this 20 to 30%. Now, the first thing you want to do is now that we're going into Friday, right? You want to start by doing the pullback, get the levels of the pullback from Thursday's high. Those are the levels that you want to possibly look to trade into short, go long, whatever. You're going to start with Thursday's high. Once you get it, let's go down to a 60-minute chart for a second. It don't matter what chart you watch. I'm just going to 60 minutes so we can get some candles, right? Now, this right here is Thursday's high. What you want to watch for Uh. Box top week. What you want to watch for is does the market going into Friday, does the market show a willingness to make a new high? Right? Does the market show a willingness to make a new high? If the market makes a new high, then your levels are going to have to, your Fibonacci, right? You're going to have to adjust your Fibonacci to Friday. Let's just say we came in, let's say price this morning during the a.m. session comes up and takes out Thursday's high, right? Comes up and takes out Thursday. Let's, let's do this right here. Connect the dots. La, la, la. Connect the dots. Okay. We just say New York session comes in and takes out Thursday's high. Now, the weekly high is now here, so you got to adjust. I ain't, let's let's give it let's give it a big one so that we can get we can get uh we can like get some difference in the um okay now you got to adjust for the high of the week now. This is your 20 to 30 percent levels that you want to trade into. So if during the New York session or the London session or whatever, if you make a new high on Friday, you adjust to that new high and then you start looking for 
signs that the market wants to break bearish or wants to break bullish, depending on which way you've been trending all week. And then once the market gives you that sign, right? So just say this was the price action right there. Once the market does this here, leaves an imbalance in here with that breaker over there, then you can look to short with anticipation of coming lower, 20 to 30% off the weekly high. That's you. You got to think about all of that when you're looking for it. Don't just every Friday, oh, is this TGIF? What about a TGIF setup? Well, near, near, near. Stop it. Right? Same thing with breakers. Same thing with fair value gaps. Same thing. Stop looking for the setups everywhere. You get out of the way, boxes. No, come back, box. I need you. All right. Let's come here. Uh, what are you, six? Oh, let's go to 15 minute charts. Right. So. Okay, so what I have just mapped out All right, so what I have just mapped out right here, okay, what I have mapped out right here are kill zones. This is a London kill zone. This is a New York AM kill zone, okay? The ICT concepts are more probable to play out during the kill zones, right? During the kill zones. Don't be right here looking for trade setups. Don't be right here looking for ICT trade setups. If you're wondering why it's not working, because you're looking for the setups everywhere. They play out, it's a higher probability of them playing out during kill zones, okay? If you ever heard the term time-based liquidity, right? If you ever heard the time term time-based liquidity, it's the liquidity made during kill zones. All right. Even if you even is from another day. All right. Let's come over here. What's this right here? What time is this? 10, 11. Do, 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 back up, back up. Back it up, back it up. Mm -mm. Let's go to the New York afternoon. All right. So. And do. Okay. All right. So we got New York afternoon right here. Even if something was set over here, when you get to the next kill zone, right, you can look back to see how price reacts off that. 
Now, me personally, I don't just go in when price when price happens over here. I wait to see how price reacts because it's from a prior session, right? It's from a prior session. Just like this little quick little retracement right here off of this fair value gap, right? It's a fair value gap that was made during a kill zone. Does that mean it's going to flush to the low? I don't mean it can go flush to the low. Could it flush to the low? Yes, it could flush to the low. You know, but me personally, when this just a pro tip right here. Whenever some set up like this right here, and I take it, I just go for small scaps, right? Back to maybe this down close candle there see how we trade get you know if we trade into the high of that maybe just five points maybe why is that can somebody tell me somebody tell me why i would just be looking just to take a quick little scap on this setup right here right you'd be like tim but we can't we broke you know what i'm saying we got a breaking market structure price looking weak we breaking down but tell me why if i shorted of consequent encroachment of this fair value gap, right? This is bearish. You got a fair value gap that created a fair value gap that created a fair value gap, right? Why would I just be looking to scalp something right quick in here and not really try to hold it to run for a long time? It could run, but what things in price, you know what I'm saying, are there that make you be like, mm, I might just want to take it down to maybe this down close candle. Um, I already took London low. Now nah, taking taking London low, that's a good. That makes it bearish. That makes it more bearish. That that's 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 something on the side of making you want to short. Taking London low makes you want to short because we took the London low. We attacked the low. That makes you want to short. It's two different things that just jump off the chart right now. Just, just jump off the chart at me. But, you know what I'm saying? The What's the main one? What's the main one that just kind of like stick out like a sore thumb that just be like, you know, eh. if, you know, especially during these high the, these these high resistance times since ain't nobody gonna say nothing but michelle i said myself we have smooth highs we got smooth highs right anytime we got smooth highs. I, I just don't like trying to hold trades a long time. Right? Another fair value gap, fair value gap above that I'm glad. I'm glad Thomas pointed that out. Another pro tip here. Whenever you got multiple fair value gaps like this right here, one, you already know you got to, you know what I'm saying, give like room for the up for, for the gap risk above you or below you. But whenever you take out liquidity, right, with a fair value gap, you don't want to see price like push this far through that imbalance. You see how you see how on this imbalance right here, this fair value gap right here. What's going on here? You see this fair value gap right here, this sibi. You see that sibi? That sibi. We came all the way back to the tippy top of that, right? That's not a 
it's not a bad thing but when you break structure like that with a fair value gap i like to see price just hit it and just keep going i don't want to see price come all the way back up here if if we come up here and get a closure above this low sibby right here then i'm looking for price to trade all the way through every sibby in this leg right here right because is if you break structure with a fair value gap if price is really moving in low resistance type conditions it should touch this fair value gap and respect 25 percent at the most 50 percent consequent encroachment and get get gone get 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 gone because it's you got a you got displacement that broke structure that's like that's a signature of i'm ready to go and if you start disrespecting it like this right here that's showing weakness or manipulation and so me no likey me no likey at all but like i can say that's those are the two things that kind of jump out to me like oh i don't like how that's trading we can keep sliding why because we i think we got a four hour fair value gap below us yeah we just came down we just came down and touched the four hour fair value gap right there you know we came down and you know and that's nothing we just came down and touched this four hour fair value gap right now that could bounce us back up right we already touched it like if we hadn't touched that yet i'd be like that four hour can pull us down to it but now that we've touched it and how bullish price has been that four hour fair value gap can potentially hit us with an institutional order flow entry drill and push us back up to take out that high that's nothing you know make me kind of leery like eh, yeah i don't like it i don't like it and then look at this four hour chart we just been consolidating we just been consolidating it ain't we ain't we ain't shaking nothing price ain't really on the four hour time frame price ain't giving you in in shiny if you in here this is what i was talking about on this four hour time frame it's not giving me any indication of what it want to do so when price don't give you an indication of what it want to do for that time frame you just stick with the last bias that was in play and the last bias that was in play on the four hour is bullish right you just stick with the last thing that was in play because and so on the four hour it ain't giving me a reason to want to short on the four hour right the 60 minute we're breaking down right on the 60 minute we're breaking down you know that right there is a as a short on the 60 minute 60 minute giving me bearish it could very well work out right 15 minute right bearish but it's starting to look weak so now the 15 minute you're looking weak right so now the four hour is still bullish the 60 minute is bearish and the 15 minute starting to look weak <laughs> me no likey me like you when all the time frames talk to each other nicely. So back to what I was saying. Stop looking for ICT setups. Err well. First thing you want is there to be low resistance, high probability. All right. The three sisters are playing nice together right now. That's a good thing. We have been having divergence. We have been no, up, 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 up. Look what I just noticed. Look what I just noticed on this last hour right here. Right there. You see this? 
Made a swing low there, swing low there. Didn't make a swing low, right? We still got divergence. We still we have been having divergence for a minute. These 60-minute counters right here. But you see this right here? This hour ain't up yet. This hour ain't up yet. But if we close, like, with this being the lowest that we get on all three indices, right, we still got divergence. Right? We still got divergence. That means the three sisters aren't, aren't playing nice together. See right there? See, look at it. And if you don't know what I'm saying, this right here, this is the YM from that low to there. The NQ from that same low to there. And the ES from that same low to there. They're not playing together. They're not playing nice. They call that divergence. It's not high probability. It's divergence of foot. It's not high probability. So that's one reason right there to just be studying price. Just study price. Why? Low, prob low probability. Criteria for ICT setups is high probability, low resistance, liquidity runs. Certain times of day, kill zones. In the kill zone, is it high probability? Is it low resistance liquidity runs? TGIF, have we been trending in one direction all week? And now it's Friday. Does the market show a willingness to make a new high on Friday? If it does, now you looking for a 20% pullback from the highest high of the week. Have we taken out sell side? And when we if we did take out sell side, did we trade into a higher time frame PD rate? We took sell side. We hit a higher time frame. PD rate. Sit on your hands and wait for the market to show you what it really want to do. I yield my time. I yield my time. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't got all off everywhere. Hopefully, y'all understood what I'm saying. Hopefully y'all understood what I'm saying. Now, does anyone have any questions for me? Anybody, especially if you are a mentee, there's a link in the chat where you can pull up, ask a question if you like. Um, if you're part of the Discordia, I'm in the voice. Pop in the Discord, unmute. Ask your question. You got about five minutes, then I'm getting off. Anything from anybody? Anything from anybody? Anything from anybody? Is there anything from anybody for me? Anything for anybody for me. I take the silence as a no. I will take the silence as a no. You're welcome, Michelle. You're welcome here to learn and share. I will take the silence as a no. I would take the silence as a no.
what's what's happening? <laughs> the gum flapping is going exquisite. You feel me? <laughs> Now that Robinson is in the chat, the live stream, the live stream is over. <laughs> Robinson, do you have anything you want to share from DR land? You got anything you want to share from the DR world? We got three um working and listening, so I will have to run it back. I ain't even gonna save it. I'm deleting it. <laughs> All right. Well, since y'all ain't asking nothing, I'm gonna go ahead and call it. I appreciate y'all. I guess it ain't no mentees in here. Uh, that's trying to take advantage of me wanting to run my mouth. Trying to take event. DR still working like it should. <laughs> DR working like it should. One thing I do like about this price action right now, like on the on the um, like see how the four hour here we came down to this imbalance and we um start to push back up like that, and then on a the sixty minute. We came down and um, we got this breaking market structure on the 60, right? And we got a inver an inversion fair value got right here on the 60. I'm liking that for the bearishness of the 60. And also, whenever I see a real shallow run below the lows like this right here, see that really shallow run right how we dip down there like we came here and we closed below <clears throat> this low but then when we dip below the daily low we barely poked under it <clears throat> excuse me and then pushed back up right since we got this bearish breaking market structure Whenever I see a shallow run like that, that makes me want to see a deeper run into the lows, right? As long as all the time frames support that bearishness, right? As long as all the time frames support that bearishness, then I will be looking for a deeper run into that and then i don't even like how price trading right now because dig it let's go to the five minute We inside of a macro window right here, right? We inside of a macro window right here. Price, price should be spooling, doing something. It's just kind of hanging out at this low right here, right? It's just kind of hanging out at this low. Price should be spooling, right? That's that's what I'm talking about. Like the price been so, the price been so, like difficult, and and like manipulated. It's been so manipulated. It's just ah, uh, during the New York session, I should say, during the New York session, it's just been so manipulated all week. Power speaking again today. Uh, 
Oh yeah, Powell was talking at nine o'clock. Powell started talking at nine, and we got some other Fed members speaking starting at ten, and then um, at twelve fifteen they speaking all day. So Fed speakers speaking all day. All right. So dig it. All right, we got a shallow little run into the daily low right and now we come back down into this order block here and we're pushing up all right Remember that candle right there when I said I would only try to hold it down to this candle right here? Right there. Right. Remember that candle right there? Who remember when I said that? This is why. Get chop slap. If, 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 if you were still in a trade, you went. I talked about getting the consequent encroachment of this fair value gap right here, right? I said, if you got in consequent encroachment on this fair value gap right here on this candle, I would only hold it down to this candle right here, right? I would just, why? Because we got smooth highs, the divergence, the, you know what I'm saying? Traded all the way up through this fair value gap, right? The trade up through the fair value gap and the smooth highs, that was the thing that jumped off the chart. So now if you got in here, your 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 position went from, your position went 10 points in your favor. And now, it has pulled back to around three, three to three and three and a quarter points. So now you're sitting there pissed. You're pissed. It went 10 points in your favor and didn't take out the low. And now it's, 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 it's coming at you. Now you're, you're at, you're at two and a quarter. Your butthole is getting tight. It's clenching. I should have taken the profit. I should have taken the profit. I should have taken the profit. Then you just cut sling low. Boom. You cut sling low. You out of there. And you're pissed. And you know what's going to make you even matter? If it was to slide without you. That'll make you even matter. That's why you don't. First thing, high probability, low resistance. That's the first criteria to start looking for ICT setups. Don't look for them er well. Low resistance, high probability. Right? Low resistance, high probability. Let's see how much you let's see how much your butt cheeks puckering now. One and a quarter, one fifty. You, 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 uh, I'm about to go red. I'm about, uh, I'm about to go red. I'm about. Let's do this right here. This was our entry right there. That was our entry. That was the target. Put a the stop. Let's put the stop above this high right here. The high above that right. Put it right there, like that. That way, you can we can watch and see how much your butthole pucker without um the need to keep drawing lines, right? And if you don't know how it works, if you click on here. 
if you look at this right here it shows you p and l right there and then if it turns red like that that means you're in drawdown drawdown when it turns red when it's green you're um you're not you're good like that but that ain't why um i got him es daily bullish fair value gap might halt the expected down move but it should give a good return prior to the reversal nq already tested his daily bullish fear value gap once and reversed esdr setup only showing 10 point range no bueno expecting range expansion in the next 20 minutes that was brought to you by Good old Robinson. All right, man. I'm hungry. I'm about to go. I got a whole lot of stuff I got to do today. I got a lot of stuff I got to do today. I appreciate y'all for hanging out with me. Um, hopefully somebody got some out of this. If not, I promise you, I will try my best the next time to share something of edification with you. But remember, stop looking for ICT setups. Err, well. High probability, low resistance liquidity runs during kill zones. Once you get in them kill zones, look at the clues that price is leaving you. Don't just assume. Don't just jump in. Look at the clues that price is giving you. Don't go off of what you feel. Don't go off of what you want. Don't go off of what you think. Look at Le Clues. Hopefully so busy that you forget that. <laughs> you know it's your best, which I ain't going to delete it. All the time I delete videos is when I uh when I get to acting a fool and be uh, talk about stuff that's not in line with the brand with the Spider Gang brand. If I get to acting a fool and showing off and talk about stuff that's not in line with the Spider Gang brand, consolidation day is highly probable. This has been brought to you by Good R. Robinson. Robinson, tell the wife I said hello. I continuously pray for her strength having to deal with you, but tell her I said hello. Tell the family I said hello also. And with that, I bid you adieu. It's your boy, Aranya Grande, for my non Spanish speaking friends. That's Big Spider. Big Spider. You know, in other languages, is is you know what I'm saying? They put the adjective after the noun. Over here in the English speaking world, we had an adjective in front of the noun. They put the adjective after the noun in other languages. Just like red stick. Baton Rouge. I bet y'all didn't even know that's what Baton Rouge was. Baton Rouge. It's a red stick. All right, man.
Until the next time I decide to jump on Al Gore's internet and share my thoughts with this thing they call price action. Y'all be safe out here in these trading streets, man. Gone.